today's workout is a little different. Uh, we, we have two rounds. Woohoo! Two rounds. Wow, we we'll whipped through that in no time at all. However, the two rounds, uh, the trade off is each station is going to be a minute and a half long. Um, which is a little bit of a challenge. Again, it's a workout working on muscular endurance more so than strength. First one, one glider, you are going to the side, diagonal, and back. Off you go, to the side, diagonal, and back. And you're trying to stay as low as possible throughout. Somehow my arms just end up moving throughout as well. Um, working a little bit more of the upper body. Um, but they also just, I don't know, they just feel like they have to move that way. Um, halfway, we will be switching over to the other leg. And you are making sure that the weight is on the heel of the leg that's not moving. Now, if you needed to make this easier, coming up and down in between would make it a little easier, but it actually would make it a little bit more tiring on the knees. So if you had knee problems, I would suggest you stay down, but not quite so low. Halfway. And now if you don't have this glider on a solid or a wood floor, you can use um, something like a, uh, what are they called? Um, microfiber cloth. That would work really well. Or if you have a carpet, you can use plastic or paper plate. And both of those options replace the glider perfectly. You also could do it without anything at all. And honestly, if anything, it's definitely not easier. All right, so after this one, which we have this for another four, three, two. So you need your mat on the floor with the heavier set of weights. And you are on your back doing the mat pull over into a jackknife, alternating right leg, left leg. So lat pull over and right leg, lat pull over, left leg. Now if you need to make it easier with your set of weights, you can do the exact same thing, just with the one weight. The lat pull over is uh, a little tough on some, shoulder, some people's shoulders, so if you find it's painful on the shoulder, do the same exercise with the lightest weight you need to have no shoulder pain or no weight at all. And you're trying to lift up back equal to that amount that the leg is coming up. As you lift up, you're breathing out. As you lower, you are breathing in. And it's 90 seconds. It's a minute and a half. It's a long time. But like I said, it's a workout that's focusing more on endurance, building muscular endurance. Going for a minute and a half is uh, it's not a sprint. It's like a 400 meter. Now if you're going with heavier weights for this, that's totally fine. But you want to pick a weight that you can do pretty much the full minute and a half. If you're going to failure, that failure shouldn't be until the last 10 seconds or so. All right, next one, you're coming up and off the ground, still with those same set of weights. And we are doing bicep curls. Halfway up. So, these ones are called 21s. The reason they're called 21s, doesn't actually make sense in this case, is because you basically do seven of the bottom half, seven of the top half, you'll see in a minute, and seven all the way up, all the way down. However, because we're doing a minute and a half, we are doing 30 seconds of the bottom half. All right, now we're switching to the top half. So the weights are all the way up, halfway down. Make sure your core is pulled in tight. Your elbows are staying pinned into the sides and you are not letting your body swing. So the reason I'm changing directions is not <laughs> just to be spinning on the spot. 
is just so that you can see my position from the side, arms to the horizontal, coming all the way up. All right, last 30 seconds. Now we're going all the way down, all the way up. As you're lifting up, you're breathing out. As you're lowering, you are breathing in. And if you've got the right weight, you've got five seconds left, that last little bit should be really tough. All right, next one. Jeepers, I always seem to have a battery that's nearly dying on me. Band is around your ankles. You've got the mini band, band around your ankles. You are doing lift to the right, lift to the left. One, two. Lift to the left, lift to the right, or it doesn't matter which leg you're lifting. <laughs> lift one leg, lift two legs, down low, side shuffle, side shuffle. Try to lift as high as you can, then slowly let the leg come back down. And when you're lifting up, you're trying to lift your leg as high as you can go. So you're really working on strengthening that hip, but also at a good range of movement. And again, I know there's a few new people out there. If you don't have a mini band, this exercise is totally fine. It will just be a little bit easier, which if you're just starting out, a little bit easier is definitely not going to be a bad thing. And there'll certainly be some muscle burn for this workout. We have 10 seconds left, 90 seconds. It's a long time to be doing any one exercise. Okay, next one. So now you have no shoulder problems, we're going to do push-ups. If you have shoulder problems, you're going to be on your back with your set of weights doing chest press. So on your back, chest press. We are doing push-ups, coming up, down, into Superman. Up, down, into Superman. On the push-up, I want you to make sure you are going up slowly. You're also going back down slowly. And you are trying to keep your body flat the whole way through, so there's no snaking like this. As you lift your shoulders up, your bum comes up too. As you're pushing up, you should be breathing out. As you're lowering, you should be breathing in. And if you need to make it easier, and you're doing it on the knees, that's okay, you still just want to make sure that you're staying nice and flat. There shouldn't be any arch to the lower back. And on the back, the chest press would be this one. And uh, that's a shoulder safe version. If you want to throw a little bum lift in that I just did, you'll add in a little bit of extra work on the glutes. Perfect, okay, so now you are on your back with the mini band. Got quite a few exercises going on in one here. Mini band is right below the knees. You are doing bum in the air, knees wide, feet out, back together, and down, bum that down.
Muscular endurance, remember. It's burning, it's working. Bum down and up, wide knees. Legs out and in, wide knees. Little bum dip, lower and lift. You don't need to rest it down in that time, just tap to the ground. Bum down and up, wide knees. Legs out, back in. Perfect. Okay, so you're going to ditch the band. And now this is another one that's hard on shoulders. So I would suggest a static plank. Or you could do the chest press again. We are doing downward dog, toe touch, toe touch, walk it out into a plank, shoulder, shoulder, and then you're coming up into a jump. So downward dog, toe touch, toe touch. And you could just do a squat hold or jump for this, shoulder, shoulder, and jump. Jump back out. Downward dog. Toe touch. Toe touch. Walk it out. Shoulder tap. Shoulder tap. Jump it up. So you're going from a plank into a squat. Legs back out. And you can walk that squat bit. I'll show you this time. Shoulder touch. Shoulder touch. In. Up. Back down and out. Downward dog. See, it's a good job we've got a minute and a half for this one, right? You just about figured it out by the time a minute and a half is up. And if you're still struggling with it, don't worry, we've got another round. You'll get it right then. Downward dog. With a toe touch, plank, shoulder touch, into a jump and up. All right, next one. A cool one. You're on your back. You've got leg circle clockwise. Leg circle counterclockwise. Knees bent, touch the heels. All right, and to make this one easier, the leg circle's not going down quite so low. Makes it easier. And then you just reach as high up as you can for those heel touches. Try not to be holding onto the mat for dear life. You'll end up with a lot of tension through your shoulders, which you don't need. And heel touches. Big circle. Clockwise. Big circle. Counterclockwise. Try to keep your legs straight. Knees are bent for that bit. I'm breathing on this one. It's tough to find the right way to breathe, so just make sure you're not holding your breath. Nice, slow, controlled sit-up. Try to keep your back as straight as possible for the sit-up part. Breathing out on the way up, in on the way down would be the right way to breathe for that bit. But again, if it gets confusing and complicated with the breathing, just make sure you're not holding your breath, which you'd be surprised how many people do hold their breath while they're working out. And that's not, never good. All right, so now you're going with your lighter set of weights. We're doing a bent over tricep, one arm kick back, the other arm kick back, both together, and then a squeeze over the top. So you're going to need a lighter weight for this. All right, off you go. So it's one arm, two arms, both together, squeeze to the middle, back down, left, right, out, squeeze, slowly lower. And make sure that you're trying to keep your shoulder blades squeezed on this one. A lot of people will end up with their backs rounded. You've got to keep the shoulder blades squeezed. And don't let there be rounding of the back, lower back or upper back. Crazy sets 
sets of weights for this one. I've actually got lighter weights than I usually use for a tricep kickback. But that squeeze bit above the bum, oh, it's killer. And the fact that it's 90 seconds instead of 45 for a minute, which is normal, makes a big difference. All right, last exercise. You're in a side plank from the knee easier, from the toe harder. Straight leg, elbow to knee. Butt dip. All right, off you go. So the same thing with the knee on the ground and the butt dip. Or if you need to make it easier on shoulder, you can do leg lift, elbow to knee. You can't do the butt dip with that bit. So leg lift, elbow to knee, butt dip. So three exercises rolled into one and halfway. We're going to be switching over to the other side. Thank heavens. Because I'm going to be ready to switch. Three, two, okay, halfway. Significantly harder in a full plank. It's a lot easier if you're doing this one from the knee. Oh, my feet are sliding nicely now. Oh, I've got the straight leg lift. And the butt dip. I've got slippy shoes. Fifteen seconds left. And then we are repeating it. And this time we are barely having any time to switch. Which basically means that some of the switch is going to be taken out of the 90 seconds. So the whole circuit will be a little bit quicker. So second and final round, doing exactly the same thing. Now if any of those exercises you found them too easy, then just go with the harder version or the heavier weight. And we're starting off exercise number one with the glider, staying low if you can, coming up in between if you need to. And it's the three directions. So out to the side, diagonal, and back. Side, diagonal, and back. Let me show you the side version. So the weight is on my heel. My toe could come up and off the ground, and my bum is stuck out behind. Really important that you get that form right, because if you don't, you're pretty much working completely the wrong muscle, and it's tough on the knees. If your weight is on your tippy toes, your weight is also, the strain is also on the knees. Weight on the heel, then the um, bum and uh, the hamstring and the glutes are taking the brunt, which is what you want. Okay, halfway. Ready to switch. Our next exercise is on the back with the weights, the lat pullover with the jackknife crunches. Alright, straight in. Jeepers, it's too fast even for me to keep up. I'm only going to one weight for this one because I have got heavy ones and uh, a minute I could probably last for. A minute and a half. Not a chance.
down for the second third. All the way up, all the way down for the last one. All right, all the way up, halfway down. I'm holding a regular hold, so my palms are facing up, elbows staying kicked into the side, and this is really going to challenge my muscular endurance. My arms are burning, and we've got 35 seconds left. All right, last 30. All the way down, all the way up. Thank heavens after this one, we've got those leg lifts with the mini band. So my arms get a rest, because they're going to need it. And, thank heavens, we've only got two rounds. The beauty of the minute and a half. After this one, you need to have your mini band handy. We have that bridge working the lower back, bum, and hamstrings. Okay, and there's my mini band. Well, you don't. 
jump stay down. Bump right back up again. See, your bum isn't getting any rest. Doesn't need rest, so get rest in a minute.
one left after this. And I'm racking my brains here to try and remember without looking at my sheet what it is. Oh my god, it's the side plank. Hang on. I'm doing the luminosity challenge on myself. Trying to work my mental capacity as well as my physical.